Okay, so here's our problem. We're dropping Barbie off a cliff, 10 meter high. Um, so here's the questions I would ask you. Letter A, for example, what is her velocity before hitting the ground? So what I mean by this is right before she strikes the ground. So obviously when she hits the ground, what's her velocity final? Zero. Zero, okay. But whenever I state this, I mean the instant before she hits the ground, how fast is she moving, okay, before the impact. All right, letter B would be uh, how long in the air? Or how much time? So we're really just going to combine what we did the last few days and then kind of the concept of gravity today. So the first step you should do is write down what you know. So what do we know in this problem? Okay, we know how far she's falling. Good. So that's displacement. Okay, how far did she fall? 10 meters. Okay. Now remember, displacement is includes direction. It's a vector. And so we started up here, right, on the top of the cliff. And she ends down here at the bottom of the cliff. So she ends below where she started. So mathematically, what are we going to do? We're going to make it negative. Remember, we're going to use our y-axis conventions. Up is positive, down is negative. So negative 10 at the bottom. Okay, anything else we know? V final, do we know that? Do we know anything else? Don't know final. Initial velocity, what's the initial? We dropped her, right? So initially, she's not moving at all. We dropped her, she starts to accelerate. So V initial is gonna be zero. What are we looking to get to? three things, right? So we need one more. Acceleration. Acceleration. Acceleration, yeah. What's the acceleration? Now remember, acceleration is also a vector, so we have to consider direction. So it's 9.8, should this be positive or negative? She's accelerating what direction? Down. So since she's accelerating downwards, we are going to make this negative 9.8, showing that she's accelerating down. Okay? All right, there we go. Where's our did three digits? One, two, three. Now you're just going to take a look at your equations. We were looking for what? V final for A? So what do you think? One, two, three, or four? Which one's going to work for us here? BF squared. All right, let's use that one. V initial is zero, negative 9.8, negative 10. So what's that, 196? And then what do we do? Square root. Notice if you messed up on one of those negatives, you would have had a negative square root, which you can't do, right? So we're going to just square root that and find BF. What do you get for BF? Exactly 14. Oh, that's nice. 14 meters per second. So that's a great question. I'm glad you asked that. If you look here, did you guys hear a question? Why is the velocity positive? So if you look here, you got to think back to math days, and this is probably sixth grade, seventh grade math. When you square root, like if we asked Predo, okay, the answer is 14, he would say, no, it's not. 
because when you square root of something, how many solutions do you have? Two. Two. So technically speaking, this is plus or minus, right? Plus or minus that. Plus or minus 14. Now, whenever you have two solutions in this class, you have to think about, okay, are there two solutions or is there only one solution? And in this particular problem, there's only one. So which one is correct? Is it the plus 14 or the minus 14? Minus 14. Remember, what is the meaning of a minus? For vectors, what's the meaning of a minus? Direction. And so right before you hit the ground, what direction are we moving? Down, right? So the answer is, the answer is negative 14. Or you could say 14 down. That's also acceptable. But that's where that negative come, where it comes from mathematically. All right, let's do the next one, B. So you guys should be able to figure this one out. Try to choose an equation that doesn't use that B final that we just got. We're going to use 1, 2, or 3, or 4. All right, let's use this one. So negative 10 equals 0 plus 1 half, negative 9, 8, t squared. So that gives us multiply by 2, 20, divide by 9.8, negative negative becomes positive positive, equals t squared, t equals, now again this is when you square root you actually have two solutions. So our two mathematical solutions are plus or minus, what's the answer? 3 point something? No, not three point something. One point something. One point what? All right, now again, you got to think about what's the right answer. What is the meaning of negative time? You go back in time. Okay, so negative time means we went backwards in time. Do we know how to do that yet? No. Okay, so until we have learned how to go backwards in time, your solutions will all be positive. We're probably gonna, not going to learn it this year. Okay, any questions?